Tars the Tank Engine and Friends Mini Adventures Episode 132 Hold to Handle. Henry was pulling in the point path during his driver's car. I will never go there again, said. Why can't get coaches? Because the coaches are under maintenance, said Henry. You gotta learn that sometimes. Henry soon patient. Ah, I wonder what engine's gonna be here. Mr. Festival soon walked down as well. Ah, Henry! Perfect. Now, this journal right here is going to be perfect. All we need is an engine to escort him around the railway. Now, which engine will show up? Which engine? The man didn't really care what engine showed up. He just wanted any engine after all. Well, I don't see no engine here. <laughs> I don't see no engine here either, said Henry. I don't know where he's coming from. Soon enough, Sir Handel puffed up. Ah, it's a uh, Sir Handel. Uh oh, said Henry. What's uh oh back from Sir Charles? Well, uh, usually Sir Handel's in a good mood, but sometimes his vices can get the better of him. Ugh, <laughs> said Handel. I can't believe it. Last night, Duncan slept in my favorite spa in the shed. He, uh, he always says it's his favorite spa in the shed, but, uh, mm, uh, 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 Mr. Percival, uh, I, I mean, Duncan doesn't always sleep in that spa every night. He doesn't have to do that. <laughs> oh, boy, said Mr. Percival. You got your work cut out. Oh, yeah. General Sir Arthur Handel. Are you usually like this? Uh, what do you mean? Like, do you usually have mood swings like this? Are you usually this cranky? Sir Handel was angry. But when he saw General's face, he quickly tensed up and went back to a smile. <laughs> I'll uh, leave you two alone for now, Sir Henry. <laughs> I don't want to get in the middle of this debacle. After all, we engines got work to do, and I don't want to stay here forever, said Henry. <laughs> no worries, said Sir Handel. No worries. As long as this man is here, I can't be that bad, right? Oh, boy, said Henry. That's what I'm afraid of. You're going to irate. That's honestly, I don't want that here. And frankly, I might want to get going soon before you throw in a tirade at man. This man's a journalist. If he gives you a bad review, it could really stain the tenacity of the railway. Stain the tenacity? Yeah. This railway could look really bad if not careful, said Henry, and puffed away. Henry <laughs> soon puffed up with his coach sheds. Here are the sheds, and here's some of the engines here. Man looked around. Ah! Welcome around. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. Uh, well, I'm glad everyone's here, said Rusty. After all, I'm kind of tired of getting all fixed up that night. Me too, said Duncan. <laughs> Many next days are giving me all kinds of skit. Wow. <laughs> well, hey, at least now, since no pictures. So, talk. The man took out his notebook and started writing down on the engines. Here. Right. The engines all told stories. Freddy, I hear you're fearless. That's what they all say. That's my nickname, though. Everyone calls me Fearless Freddy for a reason. Rusty, you're the safest engine on the railway, I hear. <laughs> That's high praise. Duncan, although cranky most times, you seem to have an adventurous spirit. Right? That's what they all say. PSM, the wide eyed optimist. <laughs> yes, Aeronaeus. The kind, caring friend. <laughs> Thank you, Simonius. Well, that me, Sir Handel. Uh, I've heard you can be a bit of a... Well, yeah, spare it out. Sir Handel, the man got mm, very angry very quickly. <sighs> uh, 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 I mean, please, describe me. I can handle it, Sir Handel. Okay. They say it can be very nice, but you have to get the best of you. So I had to just brush it off. He didn't even want to get too angry. But the other engines secretly laughed behind his back. So I had to be in a pretty good engine. Crank part two. I can't believe the person actually got to see that by him in the article. Sam? So, I know, so Yes, I know. Oh, Alright, that's enough, said Sir Handel. That's enough. I know that I can be a bit of a hothead after all. <laughs> a bit, said Freddy. Really? I've known you longer than any of these guys here, and you say you're a hothead. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I guess I could be wrong. 
Yes, I am still a hothead, and I will not be pushed around by you guys. Trust me, I can handle my own. I know you're wrong, Sir Pearson. <laughs> As if. Mmm. So, no. So, I don't see where this things. This is the Steamworks. This Victor here fixes all the engines up. <laughs> ah, Sir Hando, do you need a like, pig fix again? Oh, be quiet, Sir Hando. I'm not here for at least another few days of my powers. Well, yes, but keep it spot when I do break down. Oh, look, Sir. So, Luke, it's a. What the. What are you? I'm a journalist, said man, and I'm gonna be perfectly fine to be nice. <laughs> wow. So, you're Duke, the grouchy old timer of the railway. Humph, <laughs> said Duke. But Duke, the uh, small confidence man. And you're Luke, <laughs> the young upstart curious one. <laughs> that be me, I am very curious around the railway. <laughs> And you're Victor. I don't know part of the railway yourself. You come here all the time and you help fix the engines when we need. Aye. And it doesn't matter where we go. Wherever we are, we'll help you out, Amigo. Comprende? <laughs> I got that one down. But I can easily tell that you three are here. I'll just here for pairs. You look down more and more about engines. So I don't sound yellow patient. Alright. We can get going pretty soon and Mm. I mean, take all the time you need, said to handle. The man was smiled again. <laughs> uh, oh, said Nick. What was that all about? Don't let some Falcon can be a bit annoying at times, said Duke. <laughs> Falcon? Oh, how do you know that I go by Sir Handel nowadays, said Sir Handel. And I'll... I mean, I'll probably just ignore if I just call me Falcon for some reason, said Sir Handel. <laughs> uh, before we left, he walked, Sir Handel walked up Blue Man Quarry. Ah, it's always nice to see you turn visitors to the journalist. <laughs> yeah, said Sir Handel, it's always nice to see you turn visitors. After all, what else can go differently here? Sir Handel swimming to the other engines. Ah, Mighty Mac. What the heck? Let's talk about you. You say it, two engines in one, right, Sir Jonas? Two engines in one would be correct. I mean, <laughs> on one side is Mighty, on the other side is Mac, said the other one. <laughs> wow. And George Galloway, the pride of the line, the old timer, the one who never gives up. Yeah. I remember when I was tilted sideways one time, and I still took passengers home. Old engines can't pull passengers like they used to, at least said, but it can when they're mended, and I've been mended years later and rebuilt several times. Uh huh, and you are perfectly fine here, right? I've worked here longer than anyone else. It's beautiful here, after all. There's nothing like it. A cab, a cake, I don't care. I got enough to last long. So Hannah was getting a little more patient as well. Okay, we can get going and. Uh, I mean, stay as long as you want, said Sir Hando. I can handle my own here. I mean, look at you. Stay as long as you want. <laughs> oh boy, said Nick's gonna be. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Having Sir Hando hold it die around. It's gonna get noisy. Sir Hando, if you sit idly by with a man who reported on the engines in the area. Well. It definitely looks like most of the engines are happy here. <laughs> I kinda wanna see what Glenac looks like next. It should be something else. Tano soon puffed away. Was later that night, it was tie time in the person. Anyway. Was a handoff in the last gym. Ah, finally. Good night, Sim and <laughs> Good night, Sir Handel. Good night. Sir Handel is about to pop into his sheds. <sighs> I can't believe it. Great night. <laughs> it seems so perfect one night, and uh, the uh, what? The Duncan, Dun Dun Duncan, what are you doing in my spot? What are you doing in my spot there? What are you doing there? What are you doing in my spot? I mean, doing and so Hannah looked back at the man. I mean, you can have my spot, said Dunk. So Hannah, I'll just sleep here. I'll just sleep here. <laughs> Dunk. Right. Hey, this is gonna be fun all night here, and you can play about your spot. 
It's not going to sound soon. Talk to the others. Some people will never change, said Peter Sam. Some people will never change, and Sir Handel can be one of them.